the DIY guy, right? Which means there's things other than lawn care happening. So, one of the things I had to do today is I got a couple projects I gotta do on the car. Uh, just the front brakes, uh, bulb change, and uh, oil change. And then I gotta throw, I've been having an issue with the serpentine belt. And let me try it out start off a little differently. So this is a 2012 Volkswagen Jetta GLI. Um, so it's got the 2.0 TSI, and uh, I think it's the Gen 1, 2, the EA88. Um, but the car's got about 130,000 miles on it, and probably close to maybe a little bit before 100,000 miles, there was a squeal that developed. And it would come and go. Seems like when the car was on the highway running a little bit, it would kick on and then when you wound it out it's a six speed so when you wound it out going through like second third gear it would just disappear and it would come back again tried new belts i tried belt just keeping the belt lubricated and sprayed tried different belts tried some gator back belts nothing was getting rid of it and i said okay well it's either an alternator pulley or a serpentine belt pulley so we'll start with the uh, the cheap one first and one of the things i noticed is that if you look down here let me see if I can get you this. That's the, that's the, right here, there we go. Alternator pulley, serpentine pulley sits right here. And I got the locking pin in there to hold it in place. So the way that they decided to design this car, it's a Volkswagen, my own fault, right? Is the actual tensioner pulley, is, obviously it all sits, it's all automated on its and for adjusting. But the way that it sits is you should be able, most cars, you just pull the whole unit out, pulley and all, in the adjuster, and just slide a new one in, bolt it up. <laughs> well, Volkswagen decided to be geniuses with this car and mounted the pulley so that it, if you wanted to pull it out, it hits the frame, the side of the frame. So in order to actually change the full pulley assembly out, oh, you have to drop the engine like two inches. I'm not about to drop my motor two inches to just pull out that. So I said, well, there's got to be something else I can do here. There's nothing wrong with the adjuster. It's just the pulley. Well, okay. So instead of spending 80 bucks for that and then dealing with dropping the motor a little bit just to pull the whole thing out, just get a new pulley. Old guy, new guy. 40 bucks for the kit. I got it at Deutsch. Um, actually, this one I got. I didn't get it at Deutsch Auto Parts. I got the PCV at Deu Deutsch Auto Parts. This I got from ECS Tuning because... Uh, it was free shipping for 50 bucks. This came out to like $49, and I think I bought an oil change sticker for a dollar just so I can get the free shipping. Um, but it comes with new bolt with the thread locker already on it, ready to go. It's got a new cover plate, new pulley, came with a belt. So there's a uh, new Continental belt that it comes with. This was the old uh, Gator back. It's been around for about eh, 30 or 40,000 miles, so I'd, I'll do that anyway. And it also came with that handy dandy pin so that I can lock this. Cause usually when I change the belt, I just pull it back with a breaker bar, pop the belt on and off. This is nice cause it kind of holds it in place for me while I'm doing the work here. But that all came in the box ready to go. So I'm gonna throw that on. I just took it off now, 17 millimeter wrench. It's not rocket science by any means, but just in case anybody else who's dealing with these 2.0 T motors who and these are, again, this is 2012, so it's a Mark VI Jetta. Uh, I don't think they had the issue on the earlier models because you were able to just pull out the wheel well on the side here, drop, pull the wheel off, pull out the wheel well, and it was right there to pull on and off, very easy. This one, they decided they wanted to just make it that much more difficult. And so we're going to do just the pulley. We're gonna see if that works. If not, then I'll just keep going through my diagnoses. But for 40 bucks, 50 bucks, we're gonna see if this will take care of my problem for me. Uh, so I'll update you guys on that, but we'll start with this today and then I will, uh, I'll show you maybe a little bit of the, the brake job. Brake jobs are pretty mo much similar depending on, doesn't matter the model of the car. Types of tools can vary depending on the, the calipers, but we'll get into that. So again, simple job. It's gonna take me all of uh, 15 minutes to do, and, and that's more because I'm just probably screwing around and I'm not sitting here focused on it, but more to come. Thanks.